Hello, uh, today I'm going to be doing something, uh, well first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Kelly and I uh, am showing you how to use the timer record in Audacity. Audacity is a cross-platform freeware audio editor and you can find that at uh, audacitysourceforge.org or search for Audacity. It's freeware. It is compatible with um, Mac, Linux, and Windows. And it has a really great feature called um, timer record. So what I'm gonna do, um, hopefully you can hear me, hopefully this is also recording, I'm using a screencast program, a mixer and everything else. And uh, we will see what we will see. So first you wanna do is as you saw, you open up Audacity, then you go to your transport, drop down menu and you'll see timer record. You can either click that or use the keyboard um, command of shift capital T. Click that and that pops up this window. Now with this window, what you can do is you can set your date that you wanna start, that you wanna do this recording, the start date and time, and the end date of time of course. And then you can start with um, the time in 24 um, hour time. So right now, this is um, 1227 uh, Eastern Daylight Time, 24 hour time, it is uh, 027. So you can see you've got your hours, minutes, seconds, and somewhere back here is milliseconds. <laughs> or milliseconds and seconds. Let me see if I can, no, the window's not gonna open. What you can also do is once you have determined what your start time is going to be, so here we'll go to 82700 8, hours, that would be um, 8 a.m. Eastern time, or um, and then you would set your stop point. So if you wanted, say, a two-hour recording, your stop point would automatically adjust to uh, 10.37. I always prefer to have a slighter, longer time to record my interview in the event um, or whatever I am recording, if I'm recording something off of the web or like a web lecture or things that I need to have available to me as audio files and without having to go back to the web for it. And you can have your end time and then you can have your duration. So you can two hours and 10 minutes or you can even have it like run for days on end if you have the hard drive capacity for um, the, the, the raw files. So once you make your selections, all you need to do is click OK, and you'll see this um, window pop up. And this is letting you know that it's waiting for you to start recording at the specific date and time. So I'm just going to cancel that out because if you're, uh, let me reopen this back up. So if I wanted to just start recording. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Now, you can see my voice uh, coming, through the, coming through the microphone into Audacity move this down here and you can see the waveform of my voice now it's not that loud but this is a really good mixer I can boost that signal and forgive me but you will hear street noise and there we go so you can see that by boosting your signal you can get a larger waveform for your recording and this recording will go until the timer tells it to stop. So this is a five minute record. We're not gonna go that long. So once, so you can see there's four minutes, 16 seconds remaining. So
so you know and if the uh interview or goes shorter than the time you allotted for the recording all you really need to do is just hit stop and your recording is done once the recording is done you obviously go up to you can either save the project for later e editing or you can just export the project give it a name and how you as and how you want to export that sound um, mp3 you know um, you've got your own you've got Apple whatever wave Microsoft wave um, whatever file you you want to. if you're exporting it out of into an mp3 you have your uh, ability to select the bit rate the quality rate um, most audio today is going out at 120 K kilobits, but really you can, if you're just spoken word, you can get a, you can do 64 quality, which will take less space on your hard drive for an export. So you click okay and we will go, this is a test. Whoop. <laughs> the joys of Linux and a mouse that does has a mind of its own. So you would then thus, um, Test me, you would save it to wherever you needed to save it. And then you just click save. And you've got your, uh, your tags. And whatever other tags you want to place on it, you click OK. And there you go, you've got your, you have your uh, export. And that's how you do a timer record, save, and export. Thanks for watching.